The unsolved mystery of the 4 million Bitcoin lost forever. Did you know that about $200 billion worth of Bitcoin is floating around in cyberspace, never to be retrieved? How can this be? After all, nothing on the internet is ever lost forever, is it? This money is real, and people have lost their minds thinking about it. In this video, we discuss the mystery of the 4 million Bitcoin lost forever. Before diving into this video on the unsolved mystery of the 4 million Bitcoin lost forever, please make sure to like and subscribe. This way you can find the best information to keep your finances in perfect shape. When computers first rose to prominence, many office workers were delighted by how these devices handled data and information. Data could be easily replicated without any additional cost, making business easier. In addition, information on the internet or in a computer database was hardly lost forever, and there always seemed to be a way of retrieving it. But then, did this mean that the internet couldn't even hold something unique? Was the internet going to be played by copies of copies of copies forever? Of course not. The rise of blockchain technology proved that the cyber world could hold on to unique units of data that cannot be hacked, altered, or manipulated in any way. One of these such units of data was Bitcoin. Bitcoin was conceived as a way of storing value, a cryptocurrency. Finally, the cyber world had its equivalent of gold. Like gold in the physical world, Bitcoin could be mined out of the cyber world. And like gold in the physical world, only a limited quantity of Bitcoin existed in the real world. But mining Bitcoin was one thing and storing it was another altogether. How were people supposed to store Bitcoin such that others couldn't get to it and transfer it to themselves? Well, at this juncture, we ought to introduce the concept of a cryptocurrency wallet. As the name suggests, this is a secure digital wallet that allows people to store their cryptocurrency safely. Sounds pretty reasonable. The best thing about cryptocurrency wallets is that they are password protected, so even the best hackers can't get through to them. The worst thing about cryptocurrency wallets is that they are password protected, and humans can easily forget their passwords. You see, under normal circumstances, forgetting your password isn't that big a deal, and all you have to do is use an email reset to get it back. But with cryptocurrency wallets, things aren't that simple. If you forget your password, you only get a limited number of tries, after which everything is lost to you forever. There is no email reset here, and your only options are to remember the password or lose everything forever. It is estimated that today, there are about 4 million Bitcoin tokens locked in cryptocurrency wallets all around cyberspace. These wallets can never be broken into by any means whatsoever, and Bitcoin currently has a price of about $50,000. And so, this means about $200 billion worth of Bitcoin is locked away in those cryptocurrency wallets. What makes this a bigger deal is that Bitcoin is such a uniquely designed cryptocurrency that only a limited number of tokens will ever exist. And that limited number is 21 million. And you see, anytime there is a limited supply of something, the value of that thing only appreciates. So those 4 million Bitcoin tokens will only get more and more expensive as time goes on. How awful do you think the owners of those wallets feel to know that they have fortunes locked away from them forever? It's a unique brand of torture. So, for those Bitcoin traders, what's the play? What can they do to make everything alright again? Well, we would advise that they forget about it. It would be a much better use of energy if they spent their time trying to mine new Bitcoin instead. It seems a bit harsh to put things this bluntly. They aren't going to get much done by beating themselves up. It's better if they use this as a lesson. And it's better if other traders learn from these experiences and not place themselves in a similar position. All right, now that we have all that covered, it's clear that the situation begs the question as to if lost Bitcoin tokens should be redeemable. As much as it would make those who have lost their tokens feel better, it would be a horrible idea. The entire thing which gives Bitcoin its value is its utmost security and immunity to being altered. If people somehow figured out a way to alter it, its worth will drop so drastically that you would be better off making purchases with Monopoly dollars. Do you have any such crypto horror stories? Do you personally know anyone who does? If that's the case, 
Please don't hesitate to share your story in the comments. Let other new crypto traders know what mistakes to avoid. Coming to the end of this video, we hope you've learned much about the unsolved mystery of the 4 million Bitcoin lost forever. It's such a shame that such a large amount of money can never be retrieved again due to the forgetfulness of humans. But then again, cyberspace is cruel like that. In any case, to learn more, please check out our other videos on how El Salvador has been using Bitcoin as a legal tender and how to buy and invest in shares outside the US. These will make sure you remain financially literate and always know how to manage your money to attain maximum profit. Well, that's all for today. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you enjoyed the video. This way, you will easily find the absolute best financial knowledge. Until next time, have a great day. Catch you later.